hello everyone now this is sugesh here so now in this video we'll be just continuing in the pancreas okay in the previous video we have discussed about the head and the neck part now in detail we'll be discussing on the body and the tail okay so i have actually written it earlier because i have made the video first of all so the mic was not so audible so that is why i have to make uh, the video again on the written format okay so that is why i have written it uh, earlier it is written okay so i'll be just explaining on this and you just have to relate that on the diagrams clear so now first of all in the pancreas we have the body so body you know that it is uh, originating on the level of the vertebra l1 till l3 we have discussed in the basics in the first video and in this diagram you can see this much part was your head and then this small 2.5 cm per neck and then from neck till the tail this was the body okay so this is your body so that body is actually just uh, going from the left side to the right side okay not right right to the left okay so you can see this is the actually the midline so it is actually on crossing the midline and just below the transpyloric plane it is present just below the transpyloric plane so you can see this plane is actually called as transpyloric plane in the nine abdominal lines we have studied so it will be just crossing a uh, present below the transpyloric plane okay in the topography so this was the basic and it has actually uh, if we see the border surfaces and the uh, one process is present like the in the head okay so same concept will be there here but there will be topography different topography what organs will be present on anterior border and so so same the similar okay so uh, we have to see first of all it has three borders three surfaces and one process which is called as tuber amentally clear and now in this borders we have actually three that is anterior inferior and the superior border and surfaces we have anterior posterior and inferior so in this diagram you can relate uh, and this body is actually triangular in cross section okay so you can relate it with the triangle okay 3d triangle if you see you know that the pointed upper part is your actually superior border you can just relate it with the body of the pancreas and below will be uh, on the right side their border will be your inferior border and on the borders which will be just just tilt your uh, triangle like this okay so you can see tilt your triangle like this and just visualize as 3d so this will be actually your anterior border and this diagram you can relate this anterior border above one will be your superior border and below one will be your inferior border so i have made a mark superior and this point is inferior border now relate the surfaces so this anterior between superior there will be anterior surface i have marked anterior surface and between your anterior border and inferior border there will be inferior surface clear and between superior and inferior there will be your posterior surface from the back side okay so just related with the 3d triangle diagram simple triangle which has three surfaces and three borders okay so like that it will be visualized in the cross section actually in the cross section okay so remember this point in the cross section clear so now we have to relate the relations okay with respect to different borders and surfaces okay so first of all in the anterior border so this border anterior border actually uh, makes a place for the uh, for the placement of the transverse mesocolon so transverse mesocolon you can relate it with the peritoneum it is actually the part of your peritoneum okay i have made the video on peritoneum also you can watch that video okay i have made three videos on peritoneum it will be clear okay so transverse mesocolon actually is the posterior covering for the transverse colon okay which attaches or holds the transverse colon from the posterior abdominal wall okay so just uh, you can relate it that uh, just behind this transverse velocolon colon okay so anterior border will be present so it will be actually placing on the anterior border of the pancreas this transverse mesocolon so root of the transverse mesocolon you can see in the anterior border attaching on the anterior border of uh, body of the pancreas clear now we uh, move on to the superior border on superior border we have the relations with the blood vessels okay we have arteries and you can see this bulge part was actually your tuber amental which i have discussed earlier it has one process which is called as tuber amentally and why it is called tuber amentally is that it is actually crosses the lesser curvature of the stomach okay so lesser curvature is like this stomach and it crosses actually lesser curvature and present below the lesser sac okay so that is why the word amental is used because amental is used for the stomach so that is why it is actually crossing the lesser curvature clear so there will be one process here which will be projecting upward the lesser curvature okay so now we have to relate it with the topography what will be present on the superior border you can see this is a celiac artery which will be present on the superior side and from right side there will be hepatic artery which is a branch and on the right side there will be splenic artery clear uh, left side splenic artery right side hepatic artery which i have written so first part will be celiac artery splenic artery and 
hepatic artery okay so this is the part which will be present here splenic celiac and hepatic on the superior border and when we move on to the inferior border okay uh, on inferior border we have only one uh, one vessels that is superior mesenteric vessels the vein and the artery and it will be actually present on the right side of the body there will be nothing on the left part or the middle of the body it will be actually present on the right end of the body so we have only two things that is superior mesenteric vessel vein and the artery so we have only superior mesenteric vessels on the inferior border clear so now if uh, when we move on to the surfaces we have actually the first uh, surface we have anterior surface so from the previous video from the neck you can relate it that the pyloric part of the stomach was actually present on the anterior side here so just you can relate the stomach will be going upward like this so the other part or the body of the uh, stomach or the full stomach you can relate it will be present on the anterior side of the uh, anterior side, side of the body of the pancreas okay so we can see stomach so you can relate it with the stomach bed also i have made the video on stomach bed you can watch that video and you know that on the stomach bed we have pancreas also so just you can relate if we have uh, in the bed we have pancreas so pancreas will be below above that will be stomach so on the anterior surface of the pancreas you, you we can have stomach so similar okay so that is why you can relate it from the stomach bed anatomy okay i have made the video so what that so that is why on the anterior surface of the body of the pancreas we have stomach clear full stomach or body and some part of pyloric we can see in the anterior surface when we come to the lesser sac lesser sac is actually the peritoneal sac okay so you, you know that this is lesser sac which will covering stomach from all the side intraperitoneal okay and just this will be anterior side and this will be your body of the pancreas so this lesser sac which is present on the anterior border or not anterior surface of the body of the pancreas okay so we have two parts two things uh, that is stomach and the lesser sac on the anterior surface clear now on the posterior side we we actually have six things that is six parts first of all the large uh, vessel which is called as aorta will be present on the posterior side this is the posterior relation of the posterior diagram for relating the body of the pancreas so you can see this aorta will be passing behind the body of the pancreas so first part if we have aorta second there will be superior mesenteric vessel which will be actually originating from the aorta so the origin of superior mesenteric vessel you can say or superior mesenteric artery actually not vessel artery specifically we have artery here origin of superior mesenteric artery is the second part now we have left just related with left because it is on the left side so first of all we will be having the left kidney some part of left kidney and above that is suprarenal gland so that will be also present here so that is the second left third fourth part and fifth will be having splenic vein why splenic vein because you know that splenic vein actually passes behind the pancreas and just forms a uh that is your pyloric vein okay so pyloric vein is formed by the superior mesenteric vein you know that these are two the two are the superior mesenteric vessels this artery and this vein so this is the forming pyloric vein here and here the neck we have discussed in the neck part you know that in the posterior side we have actually the commencement of the pyloric vein that is formed by the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein so that is why full splenic vein will be present on the posterior side first and then renal vein we also uh, present this is ivc actually this is a inferior vena cava so renal vein will be draining the left renal vein will be draining into the ivc so that will also present on the posterior side so fifth is left renal vein clear splenic vein left renal vein and sixth one we have left cruse of diaphragm okay so left cruse of diaphragm will be present just like here okay here you can just relate it uh, and from in the uncinate process you know that right cruse was present here okay so just relate it from the head of the uncinate process clear so we will be having six part on the posterior side this so this was the relation for the posterior side of the body of the pancreas when we come to the inferior side when we come to the inferior side we have actually three organs here uh, two flexures and one organ so flexure meaning where the two organs will be joining or bending there so first flexure we have duodeno jejunal flexure okay where your duodenum duodenum fourth part and jejunum will be joining so like this this part will be actually present below uh, on the inferior surface inferior surface of the pancreas okay and next we'll be having jejunum because jejunum is starting from there so do you know jejunal flexure so jejunum will now form and that will also present on the inferior surface and now we come to the large intestine we have actually the flexure that is the transverse colon and the 
descending colon we have one flexure which is just present below the spleen that is why it is called as splenic flexure or left colic fracture okay so this will be also you can see on the inferior that is the base of the pancreas clear so we'll be having three parts splenic flexure at you know jejunal uh, jejunum full jejunum jejunum we can see here and you know jejunal flexure clear so these are the actually relations for the body of the pancreas now let's move on to the very small part that is tail so we don't have we don't have to learn so detail or not there has there is not so much information on the tail of the pancreas okay so there are two three points just we will sum, summarize it up firstly so it actually lies in the leno renal ligament leno renal ligament actually means the ligament which is extending from the spleen to the kidney and between that and between this ligament Uh, leno ligament actually the peritoneal uh, that is a peritoneal derivative it is actually so in that the tail will be actually present so you can relate with this diagram so tail is very small and it is just embedded in the leno renal ligament clear and it will be also in the hilum of the spleen you can say or you can say in the splenic vessels splenic vessel means there will be vein splenic vein vein artery and some small branches which will be going inside and coming out from the spleen so around that the tail will be present okay and the tail actually has most number of islets of langerhans which actually produces the hormones okay so uh, this are the three points basic points and there not so much to relate on the tail main was the body okay because a large part is extending from the right to the left side okay clear so this was the body so do like share and subscribe the channel like please and share thank you thank you